bitch. Just wait. You're uh, rangers from Arizona? Uh. Oh, it's fine. All I need is the middle one. Answer the And it took you this long to come looking for us? Uh, God's fucking tits. They put me in this freezer to cool off after I kicked Vic in the sack. <laughs> Funny, right? And some greasy, shit-licking chick's been cutting on me for days. Calls herself Gertrude the Gruesome or some such shit. Wait, she's not dead yet, is she? I see her. Fucking balls. I wanted to murder her. 
Name's Laloka, by the way. Give me a sec to get my shit together and I'll get moving. And once I do, might drop this fucking badge and walk all the way back to Atchison territory. What? This? The missing fingers and toenails and stuff? Ain't nothing. These shitlords are fucking amateurs. I mean, take a finger right away? Where the fuck you gonna go from there that's worse? I tried to fucking tell him. Look, you gotta build. Slices, cut, gouges. And then you take a finger. If they're still awake. But no, they cut off the finger. With a clean goddamn knife, mind you. And then make me eat it. Like forced fucking cannibalism's gonna break me. I told him, bitch. I chewed on that knuckle when it was still attached, and I'm pretty fucking hungry right now. Thanks for the dinner, motherfucker. Nod on that pinky all night, and ask for seconds. In Arizona, kids. One of the rail nomad tribes. The better one. Being here is almost like being at home anyway. The way the breathers squabble with Vic and his bargain basement sadists. You know, I get asked that a lot. Not sure why. Anyway, Kekaba, asshole who runs the choppers, pissed me off. Don't remember why. Huh. Anyway, I threw a fuck ton of waste wolf shit at them. Ran like hell. But they caught me anyway. Spent a week staked in the sun. Laughed the whole time. Why, I'm barely fucking bleeding anymore. Sure, why not? Right after I raid the kitchen. I'm fucking starving. Yeah. 
<laughs> Finally fucking made it, huh? Finally found the time? Assholes. Yeah, I guess the mission comes first. Fucking assholes. Uh, this shit's my fault, not yours. Couldn't keep my mouth shut. Never could stand bullies, and this place is fucking full of them. Anyway, you came for me, and I won't forget that. I guess you took out the guards. Bastards ain't so tough now. Patriarch's wing. They dragged me in there a bunch of times for my hourly beatings. <laughs> I didn't mind much. It's better scenery. It's gonna be hard for you to get inside. Heavy security door. Also, I'm pretty sure they're holding the leader of one of those ruling families in there, so, uh, take it slow and check your targets. Ah, hands off. I'm fine. I will. I just, uh, gotta rest a little more.
Thank you kind. This message is for my people. Strangers, cover your ears. How the fuck are we supposed to take Colorado Springs if you can't handle a band? Crash! I'm fucking disappointed. I really am. I'm in a finger-taking mood, guys.
but fuck! Keep it up. Eston Ward. What in blazes did they do to him?
It's okay, Pris. You can do this. There's no point in both of us dying. Just close your eyes and run. I can't do it, Violet. I really can't do that to my sister. You have to, Pris. Do it. No, wait. Who is that? You. You're not with them. Help us, please. Vic Buchanan forced us to stand on pressure plates. If one of us steps off, it'll blow up the other. One of us has to make a run for it and kill the other. Eventually, we'll be too tired to stand and we'll both die. We can't even take a step. I think maybe the trap can be disabled with that box over on the wall there, but we can't reach it. Ladies, it's me, Lucia, remember? We'll find a way to get you out of there, I promise. Lucy? But you look so... Uh... Cool. Look at her, Violet. She's got scars now. She's a proper wasteland warrior. Take a look at the electrical box. There must be something you can do there. Please hurry! Amazing! You just reached in there and fixed stuff! <sighs> Why didn't we just pull the wires coming from the box? Wouldn't be that easy, ladies. Stuff like that only works in stories. <sighs> oh, and, um, Lucia, I I'm sorry about Isaac. He's an idiot. I know. Uh, away, I suppose? We'll run back to Colorado Springs? If we have to. Our mother is here too. She's in the Patriarch's wing with Victory. She's not pleasant and she doesn't much care for us, but if you can, please help her. Session 13, Jim and Nancy, March 21st, 1998. Nancy. Hey, Rangers, this is Woodson. What's the status on the hostages? Let's see. So you located and secured all five hostages? Outstanding. The man is gonna love hearing all about this once we get back to the Ranger HQ. Heck, you might even get a medal. Now let's keep your success going. Go take care of business with Victory Buchanan. Eyes sharp, Rangers. surrender, I guess. Good job at saving all those hostages. To be honest, I really didn't want to kill them. Like, not at all. Uh, in my defense, I told you it was Vic's orders. I didn't want to kill anyone. But I can help you now that you're here, right? I can give you the key to Vic's place. Okay. But you ain't allowed to kill me after. Or if you're gonna, you should give me a chance to run first. Fair's fair. fair. 
I remember Victory's boys. This one's harmless compared to them. And he's nothing next to Vic himself. You won't regret this, boss. You ain't gonna see me again. Promise. Man, I thought I was dead. Gwendolyn Reed. She's head of the Reed family, and my ex-boyfriend's mother. She's terrible. To everyone. You're not one of Victory's thugs. They at least look dangerous. Huh. You're the rangers that Saul Buchanan sent for. Months ago, if I recall. Where are my daughters? Are they safe? Victory had me sitting here for days, threatening to fill those empty chairs with my headless daughters, while you frolicked in the snow. I will have words with Saul Buchanan about the punctuality of his servants. Make no mistake. Now go take care of his infantile son, if you can even manage that. What are you doing? We'll get you out of this, Mrs. Reed. I promise. As if your word means a stone nickel to me, Lucia Wesson. Mrs. Reed didn't approve of Isaac and me. 
As if I wasn't good enough for her coward of a son. My younger brother. Victory Buchanan found it amusing to saw off my brother's head in front of me. He left the corpse to keep me company. And also, as he put it, in case I got very hungry. This is a mistake. You had no right to throw him in your filthy gulag. And I'll have him out as soon as I'm free. I have been sitting here motionless for days, you witless buffoons. Answering his questions and denying any association with his lawless sister Liberty, who he is convinced is plotting his downfall. As if he needed any help. It is some petty revenge for a well-deserved slight I paid him at some dinner or another years ago. What a small man. I embarrassed him by asking him a simple question he had no answer to, and told him he didn't deserve a place at the table. This, I suppose, is his little joke.
don't recall victory, I will have words with Saul Buchanan about the- As if you're- Mrs. Reed didn't approve of- I My younger- This is a mistake. You had no right to- I have been sitting here motion- It is- I embarrassed him by asking him a simple que- <sighs> Rangers, 
Let's not waste time talking. We should put this monster down. Play it safe, Rangers. We want him alive. Yeah, come on in. Let's have some fun, huh? Wow. Hey, hey, look who it is, Clarence. Daddy's Rangers. <laughs> in the flesh. The Rangers? I heard they were a bunch of little fucking chicken shits. Did you hear what happened to my little brother? Oh, fucking hilarious. I know it was hard to get here, and no offense, but you can fuck right off back to Colorado Springs and tell Daddy you failed. I like it here. You know, my friend Clarence here. What? You don't see him? Oh, shit. Am I seeing things again? Hold on. No, 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 no. You're here, Clarence. Oof. Oh, gave me a scare there, chicken shits. <laughs> now, get the fuck out of here. Rangers... I have to level with you. That sounds fucking boring. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> what? Hey, 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 hey. I'm talking to the rangers here. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <gasps> no way. No way! Okay, I'll tell. Oh, sorry, ranger. Yes. Clarence, you idiot! It's a frag grenade, not a flashbang. Uh, Patriarch isn't gonna like this. I know those names. Those... Those are the poor ladies who married the Patriarch. Every last one of them, dead. Just keep breathing. 
and leave the rest to me. You're the Rangers! I knew you'd be coming to save us. I never gave up hope. As you can see, Rangers, I've been stabbed, just like the others. But I held on, played dead, and when none of them were looking, I swallowed the key, Rangers. Key to the treasury door, Rangers. Heavily armored, can't be breached. The treasure of the hundred families is safe as long as Llewellyn is around. Ugh. Maybe this is too much to ask, but do any of you happen to be a doctor? I'm not feeling so good. Yes, Rangers. I'm part of the staff. Dozens of us work up here. Kept the place nice for the families. Vic killed the staff first. He was brutal, but quick. Didn't think we'd be as much fun to torture, maybe. You, you, you did what, Rangers? Oh, I see, I see. You're just keeping the Hundred Family's treasure safe for them. Clever play, Range. Right, I'll lay low. Rangers, starting to wonder if it got you. Nah, they're good. That asshole's dead and we're not, so let's get out of here. Good to see you getting shit done, November. Our radio HQ will get them to send us some transport. See you there. Yeah, ditto. You're all right. Before you head out, I have something to ask you. If I go back to Ranger HQ now, I'll probably end up in a room doing lab work. To be honest, I'm kind of tired of research. I'd rather take my chances out there with you. There are some things you just can't learn in the lab, you know? So, can I join your squad? Glad to join your team. See you at HQ, Rangers. God 
protect and preserve you, strangers. God protect and... God protect and preserve you, strangers. HQ calling Team November. Uh, got a lady here says she's a Desert Ranger, part of Angela Death's advance team, with an important message. Gonna hold her here till you get back. Copy. We're making her comfortable in the war room. She'll be here when you get back. Affirmative, Rangers. And before I forget, the guys and gals in R&D have put together some new tech. You should head back to HQ and see for yourselves. Over and out. November, come in. We're getting a faint signal in your area. Hold one moment as I narrow it down. Here we go. If anyone can hear me, the elves are in danger. We need help. Seda has been... He's a tyrant! Affirmative, Team November. However, given that meddling in the business affairs of Santa could ruin Christmas, I'd advise against interfering. Just kidding, Team November. Sending you the coordinates of the signal. Hopefully it's not as bad as it sounds. Over.
Victory Buchanan will not be forgotten. Uh, let's keep walking. Welcome, Rangers. This palace used to be a fancy hotel back before the deluge. Wonder if they had the turret guns back then. Have you found victory yet, Rangers? Tell me. Dealt with? How? Dead! Rangers, I told you to bring him home alive. If I'd wanted him dead, I would have done it myself. How did he die? That does sound like him, but you let it happen. No excuses, Rangers. I've heard enough. I hired the Desert Rangers because you destroyed the base Cochise AI. Because you brought down Finster. Because you do the impossible everywhere you go. But saving my son, one single half-idiot boy, was too hard. Keeping him alive was beyond your legendary capabilities. If I had any other option, I would send you back to Arizona in pieces. Unfortunately, the job must still be done and there is no one else to do it. But if you harm any more of my children, there will be hell to pay, Rangers. Understand me? Hell. Now, anything else before I throw you out? Oathbreakers. You're cleared for public areas only. Rangers, 